to silence the toe and avenger. The toe, oh my gosh. It says foe. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Kate and today's video is going to be a little different from my normal videos but it's just something that I've wanted to do for a while and it's something that I'm super passionate about so I wanted to do a video about the importance of children's ministry in your churches and just like in general just the importance and why why we kind of do what we do when it comes to that area of ministry. So if you guys are interested in this video, then please keep on watching. So starting with a really familiar verse, Proverbs 6.22 says, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is older, he will not depart from it. And this is a super familiar verse, yes, but I think it's very relevant because, you know, I've kind of noticed it seems like children's ministry and even youth ministry, they're just kind of taking a back seat, which, you know, I get it, things get busy, but I think it's really important to kind of make a push for those particular ministries because they are the next generation of your church. And if you don't have that, you know, ministry that's specifically catered to them, you never know, those kids could leave the church when they get old enough to make their own decisions or they just might kind of stop being interested in church things. So I feel like having ministry for them is super important because you're able to train them and teach them and they kind of will start to have a want to and they will want to be a part of things in the church and they will want to be a part of ministry themselves. So it's really important that you're really training them and teaching them and um, just kind of helping them to understand things so that they will want to go to church. I think that starting off with that scripture is super important. Another reason why I think that children's ministry is super important is because it gives the kids something to look forward to about church. Now, I don't know about you, but when I was younger and I had to go to church every single Wednesday, every single Sunday, I kind of got tired of it. You know, I was a little kid, so I was like, oh, I'm tired. Oh, I want to play with my toys. You know, and so I feel like if you have a super fun and super awesome children's ministry, it gives the kids a huge reason to want to go to church and they're not going to think of excuses as to why they don't want to go because they know that even though they're not going to be at home having fun with their toys, they're going to be at church having fun doing whatever it is that your children's ministry does. Another reason why I think that children's ministry is really important is because it helps them to understand a lot better because a lot of times when kids are in church, like in big church, they are on their parents' phones or they're sleeping or they're talking to each other or they're drawing or they're playing with toys. And I know for me, if kids are sitting with me in my row, I make sure that they pay attention, you know, if I see them falling asleep. Sometimes on Wednesdays, I'm like, okay, you're tired, you know, you had school today. Sometimes. I will, I'm not gonna lie, I'll let them sleep on my lap or something. But on Sundays, I really wanna make sure that they're awake and they're listening and they're paying attention. But I do understand that some of the words that pastor uses or some of the um, analogies or whatever, just things that they might not understand because of their age and because of their understanding and their knowledge up to the point that they're at, they're probably not gonna absorb as much from church as someone like myself or someone older than me would. So I think that children's ministry is super important because we can not necessarily dumb the lessons down, but bring them down to their level and help them to understand and help them to really get a grasp on what it is that we believe, why we believe it, and why it's important that we believe that. So someday when they're asked, why do you believe what you believe? Or even what do you believe? They're not just gonna be sitting there like, well, I don't really know, um, I go to church. I think it's really important that we make a push for our kids to really understand doctrine and really making it so easy to understand that when people ask them questions, they're just like, there is one God and this is why and these are the scriptures to back it up. I think it's really important that we make a push for that and just helping them to understand and getting a grasp on just important lessons, important stories, Another important part of kids ministry is that it promotes unity and friendship. And a lot of times in schools, there is a lot of disunity among the students because 
you know, nowadays parents just kind of bring their kids into everything. So a lot of kids, they'll talk about politics like they understand it when they really don't because that's what their parents talk about in front of them. Or like I know for, for myself, when I hear kids talk about things like racism or sexism, I'm like, how do you even know what that is? When I was younger, I didn't know anything about that. And so as much as it's like, it's important that we teach our kids, you know, what's going on in the world. I think it's important that we have a place where they can kind of be sheltered away from all of that stuff. And no matter what kind of background that the child comes from, I think it's really important that they are in a place where everyone is in unity and everyone is in agreement. So I think that Kids Church really helps with that. It also helps to promote friendship. Like I said, you know, when you're with these kids every week, you do develop a relationship with them and you do develop a friendship and that's going to last them through youth, hyphen, adulthood. So I think it's really important that we promote just a unified front when it comes to teachers, students, everything. Another reason that it's important is because it gives the children a chance to escape. And not everyone comes from a bad background, but some of these kids, we don't understand what's going on outside of church. And for them, church twice a week is that one chance they get to get away from family problems or struggles or whatever they're going through. And so I think it's really important that we make a push for bus ministry and picking up kids from, you know, different neighborhoods and stuff because I think we don't understand how much a child is impacted by what's going on in their house. And so it's really important that we are, you know, making sure that we're doing everything we can to get these kids to church and to really help them to make a change in their heart and hopefully make a change in their life overall and someday bring their parents and their family in with them because of the love, the unity, and the acceptance that they felt at church. Another reason is because it fuels their desire to do things for God. Being a part of something, it makes you want to help. It makes you want to do something yourself. So I think that when the kids see, you know, us up on stage, you know, singing and doing movements and having so much fun, like they think in their mind, wow, I want to lead worship someday. Or when we give them that chance to speak in front of the class, they might be thinking like, wow, I want to be a preacher or I want to be a youth pastor. And I think that being a part of something like kids ministry and kind of giving the kids a chance to be a part of it it really helps them to understand what kind of ministry that they want to go into and it will confirm their calling someday. You know, if they feel a calling, they'll remember, you know, when I was a little kid, I wanted to be a pastor and now I feel like I'm called to be one. So I really think that it's awesome because it helps the kids to kind of see each aspect of ministry in like a kid's version. So we have like the kid's pastor so they can see you know somebody up there preaching or teaching and then we have the worship leader we have the person who you know puts out the food and vacuums and all that stuff and so I think it's really awesome that they get to see like a servant leader they get to see like a pastor type thing they get to see a worship leader and they get to see all of these different types of leaders and kind of pick which one they want to emulate when they get older Another reason is because it teaches them to pray and to read the Bible and it really helps them to understand that it is important and you do need prayer and you do need the word. And I think that especially in our children's ministry, we're always promoting that even though you have a safe place to pray here right now, we want you to feel safe to pray at home or you know whatever if you're at school and you're feeling sad if you just want to go in like a bathroom stall even and just pray we want to make sure that the kids know that they're able to pray no matter what their age is because sometimes when you're a little kid you feel like you know maybe it's not that important that i pray right now but helping them to understand that prayer and bible reading is a huge part of your walk with god i think it's so important and i think it's something that we should definitely be making a push for in our children's ministries just to make sure that we are helping to raise good Christians not just good people that play the part and are good at ministry people that are just good Christians and that a huge part of that is Bible reading and prayer so those are all the reasons that I have but before I go I wanted to read a few important scriptures that I think would really be helpful Psalms 8 and 2 says 
Through the praise of children and infants, you have established a stronghold against your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. I think the scripture is super important because in our children's ministry, we're always encouraging the kids to lift up their hands and to talk out loud. And I think the scripture is really awesome because it shows that the praise of these children, it doesn't go unnoticed and it helps to fight the spiritual war that we're in. And so I think that a lot of people might try to silence kids because they think it's, you know, not as important or maybe they're faking. But I think that when you teach a child how to worship and how to praise, it really helps with creating an atmosphere in your church. Matthew 18, 2 and 5, speaking of Jesus, says, He called a little child to him and placed the child among them. And he said, Truly I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, whoever takes the lowly position of this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. So I think it's super important that we're making sure that every child feels welcome because children are so valuable to God. And we saw this many times in the Bible. Jesus was welcoming to children when the disciples would say, hey, you know, get out of here, kids. Jesus is teaching an important lesson. Jesus was like, hey, hold on. These kids are important and they are so important to the kingdom. They're so important to me. And if you don't welcome these children, you don't welcome me because everyone is important in the eyes of God. And sometimes we overlook this and think, you're only important when you know exactly what you're gonna do in ministry. You're only important when you're really helping the church to do something. But what we forget sometimes is that we're gonna get old and we're not gonna be able to do these things anymore. That's why it's important that we raise up the next generation to take our positions, to take our spots on you know, ministry teams and just, in general you know I'm not gonna be a kids teacher forever and I know that and it's sad to think about but I know that someday some of the little girls in my church are gonna take my spot and they're gonna be like you know I would have never wanted to do this or known that I wanted to do this unless I saw someone that did it with love and did it with happiness and showed me that it was really special so I think it's important that we're making sure that all the children feel welcome and that we're really making a push that shows that we appreciate them and we know that they're important. Mark 10, 14 through 15 says, When Jesus saw this, he was indignant. He said to them, Let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. So this is Jesus speaking to the disciples when they try to come on to Jesus. You know, the children are drawn to him and the disciples are, you know, kind of, Hey, sh shoo out of here, get out of here, kids. And Jesus is saying, Hold on. The kingdom of heaven belongs to these kids. And the Bible also talks about having faith as of a child. So I think that if you really look into scripture, you will see just how much children meant to Jesus and how important they were to him and how important they still are to him. And sometimes we overlook that and we kind of put our focus on more youth or more of that hyphen age, more of that age where you can really develop them and kind of put them into some kind of ministry capacity. But what we forget is that children are, they're gonna grow up. They're not gonna stay five, six, seven forever. And they are gonna wanna be a part of something. So it's important that we train them now and show them now that they're important, that they're worth something. So if you know, like, you know, we have a little girl at my church who loves to just help out when it comes to setting things up. She loves to help set up chairs, she loves to vacuum, she loves to help with that stuff. But it's also important to us to show her that you can sing if you wanna sing. You can, you know, help with the movements, with the action songs, you can help with the games, whatever. You can help teach a lesson. You know, we don't wanna just limit her to one thing, but we wanna show her that she can do whatever she wants to do when it comes to ministry and that she is important to our church and to our ministry in general. So I think just kind of allowing the kids to try out what they like and not giving them complete liberty where your kids class is just complete chaos. But sometimes we have weeks where we'll just have the kids talk and you know kind of just hear what they have to say about what we've been learning and kind of giving them a chance to see what they really understood and what they really didn't understand. So really just understanding that we're in tune with what the children want, what the children like, and what really helps them to understand. So that was all for this video. If you guys want me to go more into depth about this, I totally will. I also, I have a lot of 
action songs that we do that I think are kind of different. And so I have a lot of like footage of us doing those. So if you guys want to see a video of us like teaching the movements or something, I could totally do that. I also have a playlist on this channel called Kate Featured Videos. And it's just like different videos that I have been in like on other YouTube channels and stuff like that. But also a lot of the videos on my church page from our kids revivals or just our kids services. So I will have that playlist linked down below so you guys can check out those videos if you want to and kind of get a little taste of what we do for our kids revivals and our kids rallies. But that is about it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below if you are a part of your children's ministry and if it's something that you are interested in and we can have a chat down there. So hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. I can't carry